it's eight o'clock at night. We just have not done much of anything today and I haven't had my vlog on at all. Um, we just started getting our life organized today, <laughs> which always helps. Um, we cleaned, I read, I read, I'm nearly halfway through that Agatha Christie book, which is just love, lovely to read. I'm enjoying it so much. And if I didn't have children to feed, I would be finish that by now because I just want to sit down and read it constantly um, and then we went for a swim in Nana's pool got pizza for dinner and started watching the Big Bash which is the cricket league here in Australia and I was just thinking I really have nothing for the vlog today I've hardly filmed what am I gonna do and then Doris at Aldi Books came to the rescue and tagged me in a tag. So I'm going to do that one. And it's called the Cocktail Book Tag. I'm lounging on my bed, dreaming of a swim up bar in some lovely tropical location with all of these cocktails. Starting with Sex on the Beach, a steamy book. And when I went back through all of my books that I read, I'm a bit of a prude in the, in the steamy book department. I haven't read anything. All that came to mind was this fabulous scene that I thought was so charged with sexual energy in the book Tin Man by Sarah Winman. That was um, when, I don't even know the characters' names, I can hardly remember that book, but I still remember that scene where they go, the two friends go away to an island maybe? And they have this sexual energy that it's really hard to deny. And um, I don't know if they act on it in the end. I think they do. Oh, that's all I've got for this because I've got this prudish book list apparently. I have to rectify that in 2019. Um, then at my swim up pool bar, I'm going to have a Bloody Mary, which is a book with a killer twist. And that has to be The, Women in the, the Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. I just read that. That twist I did not see coming. It was fabulous. That's one of the greatest thriller mystery books I've ever read. You need to get that and read it now. It's fabulous. Um, now I'm thirsty for A Pina Colada, which is a book set in a tropical location. And the only one on my list was a novella called The Fish Girl by Mirandi Re Rewo? Rewo? Oh, God. Totally bad pronunciation, sorry. Um, that was set in Indonesia, an island in Indonesia. It's, yeah, it's just a short novella. It was about a girl who got taken from her village to be a servant for a rich man. And um, just how that felt for her. It was pretty good. I gave that four stars. I quite enjoyed it. Um, anyway. I'm now I'm getting sophisticated because I've got my party dress on and I'm having a cosmopolitan so I want to that play with a sophisticated character in a book and that would have to be Amory Ames from the oh oh what's her name oh it's called Murder at the Brightwell is the book what's the author's name I can't remember sorry it's late um, Amory Ames is the main detective lady and it's a series. It's the Amory Ames series. She's just this really confident, cool chick. And, um, she has a horrible pain in the ass of a husband and she just totally takes it all in her stride. And, um, yeah, I really liked that character a lot. I did find her really sophisticated. Now I'm having a Manhattan and it's a book that left a bad taste in my mouth and that has to be Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Oh, I did not like that book. And I wanted to like it so much because it's so many people's favorites, but that book annoyed me. That woman annoyed me. I just dis disliked that book and it really had me salty for a while after I finished reading it. So to wash away that, I'm having a strawberry daiquiri now, which is a book that um, lets you just chill. And that has, I keep saying that has to be. And for that, I choose The Birdman's Wife by Melissa Ashley. That was such a calm, peaceful, happy book. 
that I just enjoyed reading so much. It was just this easy flowing, chill kind of book. I really loved it. It brought such a sense of calm to me in a really crazy time, as you may have seen in previous vlogs. Um, but then I'm going to ramp it up and have an espresso martini, which is a book that um, I read late into the night. And as with Doris, I don't do late night reading anymore. She has a cat that wakes her up early and I have two children that wake me up early. Um, so yeah, I'm, my limit is definitely 10 o'clock <laughs> at night and that's late. That's late for me. But um, A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne kind of kept me sitting up and reading when normally I would do those ones and not off um, with the book falling on my face. But that um, book I did read in the night and um, yeah, it, kept, it, was, it was such a great book. Such a great book. Got to read that one. And then lastly, I'm going to have a Cuba Libre, which is a favourite modern classic. Um... I haven't read many modern classics that I can remember, but one that I did read was called Green Dolphin Street or Green Dolphin Country. I think it was, yeah, two different names in two different publishing locations, I guess, by Elizabeth Googe. Gouge? Googe. I don't know. Sorry. Um, this was a great book that I loved. I gave it five stars. It was a bit of a chunker of a book, but it was kind of about... Uh, people that grew up together on a small island in the English Channel and then yeah they were in love with the, there were two girls and they were both in love with the boy and then the boy immigrates to New Zealand he writes a letter back for one of the women to join him but he accidentally puts the wrong name on the letter and so who he expects to get off the boat at New Zealand is not the sister that he wanted there and so how that flows on and affects the rest of the story and then it talks a lot about um, the indigenous Maoris in New Zealand and the invasion of the white people in that country anyway it's a great book I really enjoyed that book um, but yeah I probably need to get to a few more modern classics I mean Steinbeck East of Eden which Doris had as an answer for this category of course I mean that's, that's just a cracking book um, but yeah, I thought I'd try and change it up <laughs> and then my own drink and a prompt to go with it. So at the moment I am enjoying Aperol Spritz, my favorite little cocktail at the moment. So I should have picked Margarita, which is my favorite. I don't know how that couldn't be on this list. Anyway, I thought of an Aperol Spritz straight away and the prompt would be a book that is a mix of strength and bubbles because there's the Aperol and the Prosecco and anyway. And for that, I picked Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. Um, that was a great book. Please read it if you haven't. It's told from two different perspectives. And um, the first perspective would be the bubbles content for me that's from the man. And he's trying to be an actor and it's all, everything's so great and wonderful and he doesn't really address the real issues. And then the second part of the book is told from the woman's perspective and that gets a bit more real. So, yeah. That would be my own little drink and my own answer. Um, that's a whirlwind book tag. And I'm sorry if it's a little crazy. And I'm, yeah, but I'm really glad that Doris tagged me in it. So I had some Vlogmas content for today. <laughs> it was also a bit of fun to go through and think of those things. It's, it's made me desperately want that swim up bar though. Um, I have to tag people. Oh gosh, I have to tag people. Who am I going to tag? Right, I finally got my act together. Okay, I tag Renee from Renee Pierre. I tag Dane from Dane Reads because he loves a good buddy drink at the open mic nights. <laughs> I've seen his vlogs. Um, I take Sean at Siani Reads. Um, I tag Lauren from Lauren and the Books. And I tag Charlotte at Tired Mama Tries to Read. They're the booze hounds that I think will be up on all of these cocktails. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're just some of my favourites that haven't been tagged already. Okay, that's, that's kind of it. Sorry, lame vlog, lame day at the office in terms of my vlogmas content. Thank you to Doris for saving the day with the book tag. 
And I am going to get this sorted while I sit next to my son and watch some cricket and then go to bed. I will see you tomorrow for a bit more of an exciting vlog. Fingers crossed. Okay, night night.